I'll be showing the new Workflows app in Teams. Workflows lets you automate repetitive tasks in Teams and also integrates Office apps as well. It uses Power Automate behind the scenes and I'll show that briefly too. So let's get started. I'm here in Teams and the first thing I'll do is add the Workflows app. So let's go to the three dot menu here and type Workflows. Then select this and we'll choose Add. Now I've added the Workflow app and it's going to show up under Apps. So now click on Apps and collapse this and you'll see Workflows right here and let's expand. This is going to show all the different workflows that are possible in Teams. And this is really powered by Power Automate behind the scenes, but it's all organized and available right here in Teams. And this is the All template, so if you want to see every possible thing in all the different workflows, you can scroll down here. Editor's Picks is a great one because this has some of the most popular workflows. And there's also different categories. So if you want to see all of the calendar workflows, you can click here and you can explore and find out all the different options you have. Now we're going to start out under Editor's Picks and I'm going to start with scheduling a reply. So this is a common one if you want to schedule a reply message to be sent at a later time. So maybe I want to reply to something, I'll either I'll be gone or maybe I'll be asleep. So we'll click schedule a reply. And you can give it a name. So right here we'll just call it schedule reply. And all you need to do is click sign in. So this will sign me into my account. Now I'm signed in and I'll click add workflow. Now this has been added and it explains right here if you want to turn this one on, go to the three dot menu, choose more options and schedule reply. Okay, we'll hit done. Now we'll go back into my team. Now I'm going to schedule a reply to this message about the big important TPS report status meeting. I'm going to go here and go up to the three dot menu and I'll go to more actions here and this is where the workflows show up. So I'll choose schedule a reply right here. This pops up a message that has when do you want this reply to be sent. So I can set a date in the future. I'm going to have it go out on Monday. You can set a time. So I want it to go really early because people will think I'm getting up early to post this at 5 a.m. I want to notify myself when that message is posted. And then here's the message that I want to send. And then I just hit submit. Now this message is going to go out at 5 a.m. on a Monday and it'll post a reply right to this message right here. Let's go create another one. I'm going to go back into apps and we'll collapse this and expand workflows and I'll go to editors picks again. This time I want to save a message to OneNote. OneNote's one of my favorite apps, a great place to put important Teams messages. So I'll click this and again you've got the default name, you can change it, I'll leave it as it is and we're going to click sign in to sign into Teams, OneNote and O365. And we'll choose the notebook to put it in, planning notebook and then even the section where you want to add the messages. TPS reports and hit add workflow. And similarly, the little visual shows hit any three dot menu on a message to add this and you'll save that message to OneNote. So we'll hit done and I'll quickly show how that works. Let's go back to our team. So I have a message here down at the bottom and I'm going to go over and hover and get the three dot menu. Click that and then choose more actions. And right here is save message to OneNote and I'm going to click this. Here's the dialog that pops up. I can add an optional note. These are really important things and then just hit submit. Now I'm going to switch over to OneNote and just show how that message shows up. Here's that message, the message details, the little notes that I added and a link back to Teams. So those are two quick examples of workflows. There's a bunch of other ones. The other thing is, is since this is powered by Power Automate, Power Automate's also surfaced right here in Teams and so you can go edit and see your different workflows. So if I go to the three dot menu here and I search for Power Automate, it pulls it up and we'll click this. This is showing all of the workflows that I've created. This is actually Power Automate behind the scenes. You can see there's a bunch here. Some are on and some are off and I can turn these on or off really easily. It shows when I've last modified them or run them. I can even drill into one like this here. And now it's really showing the full Power Automate UI. You can show the run history. You can have details. I can edit these things. I'm not going to do that right now. But this just gives you a sense of all the different things that are available. Then we'll go back here. I can even create a brand new flow in the upper right. If I click new flow here, this is the Power Automate experience. I can say create from blank and this lets me create one right from the beginning. I'm not going to do that today, but it's just a good showing of how this all works behind the scenes. And so if you've created some Teams workflows, this is where you can come to edit them, update them and all these other things. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.